you are on the part two of my video of what are the tips or what are the requirements that you need in order to fly in and out of Dubai going to Yerevan, Armenia. <laughs> so before I start this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe and tell your friends and family about this channel. this video so on the first part of the video I was talking about um, I was talking about what are the requirements going into Yerevan and now um, going into Yerevan and flying with fly Dubai through Dubai and you are and I am an Abu Dhabi resident so now I'm gonna continue with part two when we travel to uh, to Yerevan when we went out we bought a sim so i bought a sim from beeline which is a good uh, good offer already they were selling it for 5000 drums so that's around 7 to 8 dollars with a uh, 50 gigabyte of internet so i'm promoting that because that's what i used so you can share your your data to your husband or you can use it for unlimited youtube and um, google maps and everything facebook calls and everything so when we went out to look for an exchange there's a lot of exchange there but there's only one that was actually uh giving the service because the the other bank ran out or the exchange ran out of dollars so um i mean drum so we from abu dhabi we converted our dirhams um money to, to us dollars so from us dollars um you will convert that money in Yerevan or in armenia into um armenian drums so i believe um you can check the currency before you leave or but um it's up to you you can bring as much money as you want but um stay on the budget if you're on a budget so yeah so in the arrivals before you go out that's the time there's someone from i think from their health uh, authorities that will ask for your pcr um and they will check the date that the results were the result date of your pcr and then they will just count that if it's within 72 hours or if you don't have that um you can also give the the, the vaccination certificate but for us we just you know um, um, ensured that we have all that was required there so PCR vaccination uh, we, pro we we brought two copies each just to, just in, just in case but even in fly Dubai they did not when they saw that we have PCR they didn't ask for the vaccination certificates so I think it's really ours but but for us we just made sure since we are already both uh, vaccinated fully vaccinated we just made sure that yeah we do the PCR as well as uh, have the vaccination certificates ready in case they need one or both yes we did not wear masks um, while we were outdoor walking in the streets but whenever we went into the groceries or something or somewhere that it's closed we we make sure to wear masks um, now I'm gonna give you a tip where to get the PCR um, I think it's the least expensive among all the PCR labs there so we went to Sirmed it's a uh, it's near the opera house um, it's near ramada hotel but it's just around republic square so i would i would recommend that like i said earlier all pcrs have to be physically printed they will not accept it electronically so guys make sure to have your results printed for two copies uh, and by the way there are laboratories that are accredited for fly dubai so just ensure that that laboratory that you're going for is accredited in fly dubai this lab sirmed i'll write down the, the the name of the the lab 
up here and um, yeah it was just it was for um, hundred it was for 18,000 drops or almost 19,000 drops and that's around 130 dirhams so yeah we took it there so this time um, if going to Yerevan you need PCR for both the kids this time going back to Dubai Dubai doesn't require PCR for children below 12 years old hence um, when we did the PCR in Syria in Yerevan we did not uh, my kids did not go through the PCR test so only the two of us only the adults had the PCR tests in Yerevan okay so um, also just ensure that before you book your tickets or before you actually plan to travel abroad just check your ICA for those that are Abu Dhabi residents so I believe Dubai has their own while uh, ICA is for for like us Abu Dhabi residents so um, we made sure that that was a green check there um, in the website before coming back I mean go, going out of the country but make sure to make a screenshot of that greens check on the ICA so what we did we screenshot we, we snipped those and we sent Jason sent it to my messenger and I copied and I saved it in my phone so when we went to uh, Yerevan airport our flight was at to, um, 1 a.m. on 26th they opened the gates only at 11 good thing we were we went there at around 10 10 30 so by the time we reached there we just have to wait for another 30 minutes um, for their gates to open so of course they will ask for your passport they will ask for the PCR copy and lastly they were asking about ICA so good thing at that time I I made sure that we have the snips or the, the electronic copy of the ICAs that they are all checked in green so Jason me Kason and Marie all of them all of us has ICA we're cleared to go back to to Dubai so yes even if you're flying into Dubai if you are an Abu Dhabi resident you have to get the ICA when we reached UAE it was a very smooth flight we arrived around 5 a.m. Um, at the passport go through passport control no issues out baggage to get our baggage but on the same date of our arrival we found a, a, a hospital that was nearby the hotel and they perform PCR so yeah PCR was done for me and Jason on 26th of July and we waited for our result it came out um, the same day so we have it printed out at the hotel we crossed the border in the evening now we just crossed it's July 27 because we have to meet family friends in Dubai first and now we cross the border we're almost home and yes we're almost home Ooh, smooth fast and easy so yes we arrived at our home here in Abu Dhabi it was a fulfilling memorable beautiful rememberable all bubble <laughs> trip hopefully if you have plans to go to Yerevan this video have helped you um, and made everything as well easy for you to go to Yerevan as a family or if you're single or you're a couple I hope this uh, video will help you um, make your process of going to Yerevan and going back to your country um, smooth and easy and safe and I am glad to be able to help you and by the way just a disclaimer this video is done on July 27 so anything um, that is after this 
rules can change so just ensure that you follow the new rules or the guidelines on the date of your um, of departure and the date of arrival back to UAE just ensure about that because I don't want to be you know um, quoted as oh it's this person said this and that so I'm just quoting and disclaiming that uh, this time was different and your rules while you're watching this video is already different so I don't want to confuse you or to give you to, to provide misinformation but that's just our experience it's a personal experience um, we didn't go through agencies um, this is a DIY trip DIY travel and um, all of what I'm talking about here all this information is personal experience and um, this is a trip that was out of the blue it's just a um, it was just a sudden decision so you know we we did our research um, we followed all the rules we completed all the requirements and the documents hence we we were able to complete our trip safe smooth and we came back healthy as you know we all are having a negative pcr from yerevan and here in dubai so thank you for watching guys once again don't forget to click like subscribe on my channel i am curvy lou and i'm not a travel blogger blogger i'm not a travel blogger blogger I'm just a blabber. <laughs> Hopefully, you, you'll be able to travel with your family soon. And this can help you. So, let's all be safe. Follow the rules. And bye. God bless everyone.